Hey everybody, it's the Tall Turtle here, and welcome back to another live stream on Live Stream Week here on the Tall Turtle channel. It's Thursday night, Central Time. Kids are in bed. Both of my sick kids are in bed. And, um, oh, man, I have one of my cats joining us tonight. The little tiny black cat. Her name is Jet. She has chosen me as her person, even though, um, she kind of drives me crazy. But she's going to be meowing in the background. I have my studio door open tonight so I can hear the kids if they need anything. Anyway, Game of the Year edition has landed. I want to check some things out. Um, I actually have an itinerary of the things I want to get through. My original plan was to stream for many, many hours tonight. But we will see how long I last, given how tired I am. It's been not the week i've been expe expecting and um and it's a full moon that throws off myself and the family hi kitty cat <laughs> as long as you doesn't jump on my stuff here so it's gonna be a long stream um no one's joined me yet as i record this or as i broadcast this but those of you watching the rebroadcast thank you for re-watching the rebroadcast all right so itinerary um first of all i had to go through once you updated and i'll show you the updated version there it is 1.21.13.0 I had to redo all of my options settings. I had to go through every single thing. I had to go through up oh, I'm losing um my camera my my monitor isn't HDR compatible, so every time it jumps in and out of HDR my monitor goes blank. I see in my um live stream view that it doesn't go blank for you, it just goes blank for me. Oh now the cat is literally on my shoulder. Oh boy. Anyway, I had to go through every single one of these settings and redo every single one of them. And I may have missed a few. And I had to go, whoops, I was just there. And I had to go through every single, not every single setting on this screen, but a lot of these. I had to go through. Um, see this HDR10? My monitor apparently, I bought it so long ago that it just doesn't work with this, so it goes in and out on me a lot. So my next monitor, I have to make sure it's HDR compatible. I'm ready to buy a new monitor pretty soon. This one has some burn-in. Anywho, um, DirectX. I tried DirectX 12 earlier today, and it cuts my frames to down 15 frames per second, which in a flight sim is an enormous deal. So what he did is they set up a flight Minneapolis with the longitude, with live weather, had heavy clouds, blah, 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 maxed all my settings. And in DX11, I was getting 35 frames per second, which is fantastic. For a flight sim with everything maxed. With DX12, I got 20 frames per second. And it's un it was unusable. I couldn't even fly. So I'm going to stay with DX11 until people um, talk about DX12. And I don't know, maybe I'll never do DX12 until I'm forced to. I thought I was supposed to get incredible performance boost with DX12, given I do have a DX12 compatible card. But it cut my frames 15 frames per second. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to do some research on that one, see what other people are doing, that type of thing. Because DX12 just was terrible for me. So I wanted to mention that. What else is, let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, settings. So, I mean, some of these stayed. Like, some of the stuff stayed. But some of had to change, especially all the assistances went to default. The controls so far, I've only done this for a couple minutes before we started, started broadcasting, but the controls so far seem okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to redo my camera keyboard settings, probably. Um, like if I type in, if I search actually by control arrow. Um, yeah, see, quick. What if I search by, whoop, see I lost my monitor because of the HDR10 thing. It only does it in Flight Sim. No other program, no other game does that happen. Um, okay, the tra okay. It might still work, my camera ones. Oh my gosh, every time I clear that out, I lose my monitor. Um, yeah, see that's supposed to move things around. Let's see, oh my gosh, I lost it again. That is so weird. I lose my monitor every time I click that box. Okay, that's so good. And I click it, bam, monitor goes out. Super weird. It's my monitor, though. It's not anything that I'm doing wrong. Anyway. Alrighty, let's see the big things. Make sure that all this data is on. I'm actually using my preview screen because I'm losing my monitor. There it is. Everything's on. Bam, that's what matters. Alrighty, what else did I notice about 
game of the year edition in the menus um this activity here which i want to do we might do in this stream i know it said you have to have four hours of flight time before you can open it and i don't know if that means four hours of flight time since this update or four hours of flight time at any time and of course you have hundreds of hours so we should be able to do this just fine leaderboards two points what <laughs> interesting um we will do this later maybe i don't know i really don't i'm not a fighter jet person but we're gonna try it out anyway um so those of you just joining us and watch it or re-watching the watching the rebroadcast we're going through a few changes that i noticed oh i forgot to say the thing in the beginning um i'm going through some things with the game of the year update we're gonna spend quite a bit of time with this tonight fly some things do some things however if you want to know every little detail in the change log all you got to do is google game of the year flight sim and bam we're bringing it right to the page the official page to get the official changes right from the horse's mouth um i always find that kind of funny because like i'll i'll say like hey this is the latest update whatever day and then i'll get all these questions can you please link me to a complete list of i'm like no just type in update and then you'll get it right from the horse's mouth bam that's way fit like typing your question takes longer than just typing it in a google and getting an instant answer that's one thing i've always found interesting like and of course i'm og when it comes to forums and the internet and stuff so we just it's just kind of funny when people will like create a post somewhere asking a question waiting for an answer arguing with the people answering when all they had to do was take that same post but instead of creating a post just type those words into google and get their answer instantly from the horse's mouth in fact i almost got banned from the um, minecraft forums for helping somebody in that way they're like blah blah, blah. i just linked them i'm like here right from the horse's mouth and i got like a warning for posting a link I'm like really okay so anyway same thing with this so as i go through this if you have any questions about details the nitty-gritty details about this game of the year update just type in game of the year flight sim into google you'll get everything you want to know we're just going to go over the stuff that like people would just notice and things that i would notice um, i'm not going to worry about like what dev kit things change i don't know <laughs> i don't know i just know that we're going to look at some of the new airplanes we're going to look at some of the discovery flights and then if i'm awake long enough we are going to redo the first two legs of the norway bush trip to see if they actually fix the bush trip um, continuation bug that was broken in the last update this update is supposed to fix it if you recall if you start a bush trip and fly consecutively that's fine but if you stop and come back you cannot continue your bush trip and i already tried continuing from leg two of the norway bush trip and i can't so i'm going to refly the leg one quit completely jump back in do leg two see if it lets me go to leg three that if it's going to well, actually through the check leg two that's what we're going to do if i'm awake that late <laughs> so we'll see so anyway i know i'm just taking a long time to talk through this but that's because this is a live stream and i'm kind of waiting for people to join us to be honest so um yeah so it's gonna be and we have a couple people joining us already but um you know it's gonna be kind of slow paced right just so we can have people come in and out and i just lost my screen there you go okay Alrighty. so next on the agenda i wanted to check out the weather panel which we can't do until we're in a flight so i guess we have to do that in a flight um i've talked before about my wishes for the weather once you're in a flight and i'm curious to see if that's going to be the case um bringing me to the next things that weather isn't going to be available so i guess we're just going to let's just start a random flight super fast and i'm just curious to see the weather options let's do a low frame rate aircraft oh yeah then there's all these other new things in here which we're going to talk about separately um let's yeah we're, we will talk about that new stuff and this and oh my gosh i've seen all the things i can't wait to test out i just want to jump the 152 just because just get me in an airplane and let's do kmsp might as well let's make it oh boy my lost my monitor now yeah, it's back all right let's make it not middle of the night and let's just jump into a flight super fast and i want to see if this weather stuff oh my gosh my hdr i'm losing my monitor constantly with this new version oh, it's gone again and now it's back 
Just like when I get an achievement, I lose it. It's the HDR10 thing. My monitor's not HDR10 compatible. It's too old. So um, I'm having problems with it. So I really need to make sure anything I buy. Ugh, so frustrating. <laughs> so frustrating, but whatever. Okay, now I got my monitor back, and it's been stained back. It's super weird. But I know it's the HDR10 thing because I've researched it. Anyway, the thing about having a live stream is I can't edit out this loading stuff. But we're, we'll get there. It'll load. And, um, there we go. Tango, okay, I've lost my monitor. Tango, and it's back. Left and now I lost it. And now it's back. And now I lost it again. There's no back. And I lost it. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. Why? It's blinking on me. And I know it's not a faulty monitor because it only does this in flight sim it's always done this in microsoft flight sim just not as bad as it is right now and i know it's the hdr 10 thing that's why when i can achieve and i lose stuff okay i just want to check out this weather panel we're not going to fly at the moment so oh, but there's this guy and again there's all these like things i have to load because if i hide these then i can't use my shortcuts it's kind of stupid but anyway uh, weather. Yeah, so you do live weather. Okay, remember I mentioned months ago that when you do live weather, you can't actually see the freaking weather. <laughs> like, the only time you get to see the weather is on your planning screen or if you leave the simulator. And I'm all about, with the simulator, I'm all about doing as much as you can within the simulator. With X-Plane, it's different. I had hundred, not hundred, but I have dozens of resources I would use. But for the simulator I would like to use everything in here so supposedly if you click on this now you're <laughs> you're supposed to get there we go there we go you can now get your information right so if you know how to read this which I am going to embarrass myself because I can't remember everything but there's the airport there's a the time in Zulu there's the wind right 300 degrees six knots visibility 10 statue miles clear skies this is all I really care about. Um, I used to know what the rest of this meant, and I forgot. But again, just put Google how to read METAR, and you'll instantly learn how to read this. Right? So if you want to ask, hey, how do you read that? I, I, I can look it up for you back in a week. Or you can type, how do you read that in a Google, and you get it instantly. I just know that this is right here. This is what I was missing and wanting to have in the sim. Is this right here because as they're flying around we want to know the weather but if you use live weather see it's all blank and it's always been that way but now we can actually see it so i am completely pumped about this like i cannot tell you how excited i am about this so again your airport the time in zulu and then the direction the wind is coming from right yeah not two but the direction is coming from and the speed so 300 degrees so between well that'd be north north would that be northwest 270 80 90 100 it'd be almost northwest maybe west northwest whatever so northwest at six knots and right now we're on runway 30 i believe which is exactly into the wind so there you go oh and there's icing yay because we are very cold in minnesota right now in minneapolis it is a lot of moisture in the sky and um, in the air, and it's very cold. So that icing would be accurate. Um, I have a set to visual only. This plane does not have anti-icing. So if we wanted to fly this right now, we'd have to turn icing off because we can't see anything and there's no anti-ice that I'm aware of. But anyway, I just want to check the weather. So we're actually going to be done with the screen now. Um, again, this is a live broadcast, so it's going to be a slower pace. I'm going to be jumping around a little bit. Do I want to continue? You already clicked on yes, didn't I? I think so. I can't move. Yeah, there we go. I watched my previous screen and saw myself click yes. That's how I know. And I'm losing my monitors, blinking in and out. As it jumps out of H in and out of HDR HDR10. Okay, so what I want to check next here. Um, let's see. I want to check. Do 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 the training module. No, there's airplanes and then there's training modules. Uh, we will get to the training models in a second. I just want to check this out. There's supposed to be... Um, yep, Bush Pilot and IFR. Good, I can't wait to do that. We might do some of it on this stream, although I would like to do this as their own video. Those are really popular videos um, that I have. So 
maybe we'll just save those for videos. Um, let's see what else they wanted to do here. Oh yeah, the bush trips. I love this bush trip menu now. The tiles are smaller. They're not enormous like they were. It's gonna take a minute for it to load. It's very slow to load. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. I almost feel like I'm out of character during a live stream. I feel very different. Anyway, so there you go. You can see these are small little squares now instead of the huge tiles. So if you look at our bush trips, Norway we can hopefully do now. Sweden we can hopefully do now. Germany was broken in multiple ways. Supposedly they fixed that. And then this one, so we've got four left, I think. One, two, three, four to do. And then we'll be caught up. Um, anyway, I love those. Alrighty, what else was next? Okay, so here we go. Let's check out some of the new aircraft, and then we'll combine it with the new Discovery flights. So if we go... Oh, no, we can't because Discovery flights are predetermined. Never mind. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's do a new aircraft. Um, We'll save the fighter jet for last. I'm probably totally going to forget about it, but whatever. The one that I'm most excited about is the Pilatus, but we're actually going to start with Volo City because I'm going to order on my list. And I just lost my monitor again, so I'm using my other screen to show me. So this is a VTOL, which is vertical takeoff and landing. Um, experimental aircraft, I think, right now in real life. Uh, let's just use the plain white. Uh, let's do the new livery. Um, not Xbox, this one. Um... Not worry about that. Everything should be off. And I kept all my stuff there. Good. All right. So it's VTOL. Let's see. Where should we start from? Let's start from the home and field downtown St. Paul. Now, if we start this cold and dark, there's a bug right now that the glass cockpit won't work. If you start cold and dark with the, v with the Volo City. So we're actually going to start on a runway. Um just so that it's not cold and dark. And then that way, oh my gosh, I lost my monitor. There we go. Look at that, look at that small range this thing has. Look at this tiny range. Let's see, can I, what is the fuel? that gonna put us over? Wait, no. What is the full range? Wow, that's crazy. But you know what this is supposed to be for? This is supposed to be like a commuter aircraft for the future, or like an air taxi, like a local urban air taxi. So the range isn't going to be that much anyway. But um, let's just start on the runway just so that we get, so that it runs, so that the glass cockpit works. Because as I said, there's a known issue that if you start the Volo City cold and dark, you will not get a working glass cockpit. So let's hit fly. I don't know anything about this aircraft in terms of how it is in the sim. I just did a little bit of research earlier today. And, um, this is going to be like an air taxi in the future. So we'll see how this goes here in a minute. And then, um, what else? It's an EV toll. So electric, vertical takeoff and landing. I think that means electric. Um, I would assume that's what that means. In fact, I need to take a drink here of some water. But we'll see. We'll see. So the plan for this stream is we will go through all five new aircraft in not amazing detail, but we're just going to check it out. It's like a first look thing. Um, like a first look type video. I can't see my monitor. He's blinking out on me. There we go. Okay. So. Alrighty. First of all, I better set a home preset here just so I can get back to this view. Let's do this. That, that's my one. I'm not going to set all my presets right now. I'm not going to waste everybody's time. Oops. Um, I did it again. Come on. No, no. I want to go like this. No. Is it this button? There we go. All right. Let's do this like an IFR type thing here. Whoops. Oh. Oh. One of my hotkeys for my... Um, camera control also turns the garment on and off. Who would, who knew? All right, let's go like this is number two. All right, let's just look at this thing a little bit. Let's enjoy this together. Let's appreciate this thing together. And then we'll fly a little bit. And then we'll go through each of the aircraft like this, of the new ones. And then we'll 
um, do some discovery flights, and then we'll try the bush trips, and that'll be our stream. However, that's going to be like three or four hours of flying, but that'll be our stream three or four hours from now on when we're done. All right, let's see here. Um, wait, this one, this one. Oh, I can't go. There we go. All right, what's this stuff down here? Um, pole climb. Oh, we can't even do any of this. Oh, none of this is even functional. Never mind. Here I thought I was. Could be all. Oh, this is a very. Are these fuses? These are fuses. Right? Yes. Okay, what else is going on here? Not a whole lot of stuff. Um, maybe it doesn't need to be. Okay, we only need this and this. For now, anyway. Well, yeah. well, what's this thing do? I don't know. I have my tooltips turned off. Um, well, we'll learn this when we do a checklist, which my checklist is this one? No. This one. That's an apple. Oh, whoa. Slow to respond. Um, there's my checklist. All right, after cockpit entry, I know this is complete, but passenger briefing, doors locked. Can we open the doors on this thing? We can't open the doors on this thing, can we? Show me. Show me where it is. And if you click on this, it'll tell you where things are. See, well, okay, this is whatever. Okay. Um, engine start. Show me where this is, please. There it is. Okay. Okay, so we actually do need this. View. So this will be view 8. I think it uses Romy 8. I try to keep the same views... Oh my gosh, I lost my monitor. Now it's back. I try to keep the same views among all the different aircraft so that I don't get confused. Um, check for no-go. Oh, interesting. Okay, what's this? Uh, um, upper switch. Lower arm switch. Navigation lights. Where are the lights? Right there. Oh, nav lights. Okay. Stroll must be on the left one. Yep. Master warning. Caution. Yep. Securing... Now, unless this lower arm switch off. Armed. And then you knock, then you do it off. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you're just um, double checking everything, it looks like. And that's it, that's your checklist. Okay. Whatever. I just wanted to check that out. Alrighty, very simple, I guess. Simpler than I was expecting. Why well, won't I get reset? There we go. Let's um, do some views to look out of the window. So when we're in the air, bam, that'll be view zero. Why every time I hit control does my screen go blank on my monitor? That is really annoying. Again, I know what it is. It's HDR10, but... Some of these things don't seem like they'd be related. Okay, so this will be view six. And I lost my view again. So weird. All right, then we come over here. This will be view nine. Yep, lost the view. <laughs> come back, thank you. All right, let's hop outside and have a look at this thing. Holy moly, Rocky. Does that look like the future, or does that look like the future? Wow. Sounds cool. I'm not wearing headphones, so hopefully I don't bleed through too much. What the heck happened here? All that bumpiness. That's not what it looks like at downtown Holman. I know because I've been here before. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Alright, that is the cool looking thing. Look at the St. Paul skyline. And then if you go up, which is this way, you should go see the Minneapolis skyline. It's nah, that's, eh, too far away to render in. Alright. Okay, here we go. Let's hop inside and let's see how to fly this thing. I have no idea how to fly this thing. Okay, so that brings you up, but how do you move? Okay, there it goes left. You pitch for pitch down and go forward. I guess you pitch down and go forward. That would make sense, right? This is pretty cool. I hope it's not too loud. The audio is, hope it's not too loud for you. I used lower levels on the audio for a stream the other day and you couldn't hear the game volume at all. All you hear is me talking, so I cranked it up for this. The volume seems too loud on the levels, but 
Must be okay. Is anybody watching? If you want to put it in chat, if my voice versus the sim sound is balanced, okay, let me know. But anyway, um, oh gosh, I lost my screen. I lost my. Why do I lose my monitor so much? Alrighty, so here we go. Oh, we're getting icing. Not that I care, but oops. So this is what happens if you bank from the outside. There we go. So if I turn my yoke to the left like a steering wheel. And it goes left. If I turn it right, it goes right. If I pull it back, what happens? We get very slow and we stall. Okay. Or you just kind of stay in place. Wait, we're climbing. Okay. We're not stalling because we're still climbing. <laughs> I mean, it's VTOL. Duh. So you would bring back throttles. Okay, so we're going backwards, which is what you should be doing. Okay. Um, it's like an oversimplified helicopter in a way. So let's see, if we go full power and all the way forward, we still are climbing. We're not really going forward right now. It takes a long time to respawn. Yeah, we're still, we're still climbing, even though I wanted to go faster forward. What if we bring back throttles? We stop climbing. done climbing and we're still gaining speed horizontally which is super cool oh this is fun we're really going 70 knots really oh yeah i guess we are <laughs> if you look out the window that's cool we have to look at the mississippi river and the river bank that is exactly what this looks like in real life because i've been here many times we're going to go over the st paul skyline i guess you know, we're gaining more speed and we're not climbing, so it's really easy to control this thing. What if I do rudders? Rudders work too. Okay, so I guess that you can maybe go left and right with the rudders. So my yoke is straight, but if I go left, rudder is going to turn. Uh, okay, duh, of course. It's going to turn you. Of course it is. Alrighty, so my yoke is all the way forward to get forward motion here. I'm using my right rudder to turn right. I cannot believe this St. Paul Skyline. We haven't really looked at this before in the sim. But this is looking just mighty fine. Look at that. I don't know as much about St. Paul. There's the first bank right at the bottom of my screen. I don't know as much about St. Paul as I do Minneapolis just because I'm from Minneapolis. And um, a lot of us don't know one or the other. Like, we know one really well, but not the other. We don't go to one city or the other all that much. We're kind of one side of the river type people. There's the Minneapolis skyline to the right. And this stadium right here is Excel. And the Minnesota Wild play. I happen to go to the very first rock concert at the Excel with Bare Naked Ladies a long time ago. Would it have been when one week was popular? Or older than that. There's the Capitol. There's the Minnesota State Capitol with the horses on top. And at one time, my dad's initials were on there because he climbed up and put them on there. This would have been in the 60s, probably, 1960s. Um, they've been replaced since then, actually, a couple times. Um, but yeah, so there's the Capitol building to the left, downtown St. Paul. This is cool. But anyway, the Excel. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I've been went to the first concert ever at the Excel Energy Center. Those were naked ladies. Way back. Way back. All right, can I go? Can I set my cheat view here? Um, I might have to turn icing off because, like I said, there's no anti icing in this one either. And it's very cold in Minnesota. So let's hit pause. Let's um, jump to. Is it assistance options? I think. And let's see, piloting maybe. Um, user experience. Nope. New. Oh, yeah, you can also turn off the end flight screen, which I'm glad because that'll drive me crazy. Where's the. Is it failing or damage? Yes, it is. Okay, let's just turn it off completely right now because it's in our way. Alrighty, go back and resume.
Oh yeah, escape doesn't work anymore. Do we zoom? Boom. Okay, here we go. All right. Is it not going to clear up the icing though? I turned icing off. Is it going away? I can't really tell. Looks like it's getting worse. Hello, I turned you off. Please. Go away, icing. I turned you off. Ugh, anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't edit that stuff out when I'm live, you know. Looking at the buildings down there, holy cow. Ugh, I've never come from the St. Paul side before. This is fantastic. That icing is terrible. Anyway, there's a low haze. And there's the Minneapolis skyline up there. Um, St. Paul neighborhoods. Because Minneapolis is connected to St. Paul. There's I-94. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is hurting my wrist to um, tip it forward, but that's what we're gonna do. So, okay, if I bring back the throttles, we just start coming down, which we are. And then, what's that noise? That was weird. So we're coming down like we're supposed to be. And then we're keeping our speed. Perfect. And um, we don't want to run into the ground. We're at 1,900 feet, I believe elevation is about 885 or so. So we're over 1,000 feet above ground level. It does not look like it, does it? That building's not 1,000 feet. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know what. What? Okay. Okay, okay. Acknowledge. All right. Don't care. All right. So let's stop descending before we hit the ground. So let's go back to level, or not level, but just not ascending or descending. There we go. It's about 65 knots. There are no flaps or gear, right? It's just fixed. Those are like helicopter skids, of course. There's Minneapolis in the background. There's 94. We're just going to follow 94. Let's turn to the right a little bit. Actually, no. Not turn to the right. Oh, that's the monitor again. Dang it. Thank you. We're actually going to veer to the right, like this. Yeah, there we go. We're going to actually veer to the right. Anytime I hit a button that has anything to do with my view, I lose my monitor for a second. That is so strange. I don't understand. Um, 94 is over there now. And it is hazy. There's the river. You can see the river valley where it's hazy. Okay. Lost my monitor again. I gotta get that. I gotta figure something out because I can't do like landings and stuff. I'm gonna keep losing my monitor. Ugh. And like I said, it's not a monitor going bad, because the only time that happens is if I'm doing flight simulator. And other people with the same problem say it's the HDR10 thing. All right, look at all those engine, or not engine stats, but yep, the batteries, look at that. Look how long these batteries last. Dang. Um, zoom map is this one? Yep, there we go. And then page. Cool. You put a flight plan in here. Alrighty, so KMSP, if you're looking at for can't look at the airport like this. Now it's all iced up. The airport's over here. I can't even see it. It's right here. The Mall of America and everything right there. There's the river. That's the Minnesota River. It joins the Mississippi River, which is here in front of us. Um, there's a 94 bridge. The 35 bridge is back there. Oh my gosh, I lost my monitor again. This is ridiculous. It didn't happen this badly on the previous update. Alright, so there's the... There's um, U.S. Bank Stadium under... That's not U.S. Bank Stadium. That's the Gopher Arena. Gopher Stadium. This is U of M, University of Minnesota. Oh, what? Why did I do that? I mean, there's the Gopher... Stadium, there's the Gopher Hockey Arena. Um, I know all that because my family I married into is a hockey family, especially college hockey. Met my wife a couple weeks before we went on a 
date to a hockey game in that arena right there. And we, oh, this must be like Crown Trip Village or something. And, um, the game went so fast because we talked the whole time. Alright, let's veer to the left. Just like this. Wait, yeah, then this is the 35W bridge here. The infamous one that fell down, and I was just about to get onto the bridge when it fell. Um, my father-in-law called and asked me to do an errand, which I normally never would have said yes, but I said okay, and I was stopping to take the exit. I was going to take the exit right at where the bridge fell, and the bridge fell. So if he hadn't called, and I hadn't said yes, I would have been on the bridge. And it fell. So that's kind of crazy. Um, otherwise, Stone Arch Bridge, the Third Street Bridge. Very cool. Now, Minneapolis, I know a ton about. I could go on and on about Minneapolis until until this thing runs out of batteries. <laughs> so I'm actually veering left right now. So if we hop inside, we're just veering to the left. There we go. Oh, there's the Hennepin County Courthouse. I was in there for jury duty once for a federal case. That was quite exhausting, to be honest. So let's stop veering and let's go forward now towards IDS. Let's get some altitude, though. Now if I tip forward... Are we going to clear this in time, do you think? I think we'll clear this. What do you think? Oh yeah, we'll make it. There's IDS. Nice. Alright, let's stop climbing. And there's a target field. U.S. Make Stadium is under construction. Right under, right under the skid. That's the thing stadium under construction. Um, there we are. The Norwest Tower. It's called something else now. IDS Tower. That is really cool. And there's Target Center, the basketball arena. Alrighty, where should we land? Should we land at Target Field? Let's try to land at Target Field. Okay, how do we do this? We're going to turn. And we're going to pull back so we stop. Um, so that we stop um, going forward. We want to go forward a little bit. Maybe we want to stop descending. Actually, let's land on the roof. I have a better idea. Let's land on the roof of Target Center. If it'll let us. Now yeah, let's land on Target Field. I'm afraid Target Center will come across as a crash. Okay, so we... Stop going back. We, we go like this. Hang on. You pull back to stop. Right? We have to feel where we are. I think we're good. Well, okay, let's maintain level flight and stop descending. No feel where we are here. I'm going to have to come backwards. Okay, let's stop. Now let's. Stop descending. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we gotta see where we are. Let's see, we gotta back up a little bit here. Back up. And veer this way. There we go, stop backing up. Try to maintain flight here, like level, steady flight. Well, where are we here? It's really hard to see what's going on. Let's not slam into the ground too hard. That would be fun. There we go. Oh, come back, and bam! There we did it. We had to do it from the outside because this icing couldn't see anything. There we go. We landed it. That's really cool. All right, awesome. There we go. So we did the Volo City E 
thing. The E vertical takeoff landing because it's electric. And that target field. So it looks like I've only been here twice, and both times I sat right here. Both times. So this is what I saw. Oh, never mind. One time I was across here in the sunlight. It gets really awful when you're trying to, um, when you're trying to see a baseball game in the evening and the sun blasts you in the eyeballs. Yeah, we were like right here once. Yeah, right here. It's so scary. It's so steep. There we go. We we're right here. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's, um, hop back to the main menu for the next part of our tour of the new, um, new airplanes. I'm just kind of figuring out why. I'm frustrated that my monitor keeps going blank. Only in flight time. Okay, so we did the Volo City. Um, my favorite addition that I've been most excited about is the Pilatus. I'm very excited about the Pilatus. So let's see. Let's go here. Let's select the Pilatus um, aircraft selection. Pilatus. All right. We got what? We've got the regular one. Skis. Um, I'm assuming those are bush tires. And floats. I did not realize that the PC6 Porter is a Taldrager. I didn't know that. Hmm. Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of Taldragers, but I'm excited about this plane. Um, range 450 nautical miles, four hours, cruise speed 115 only. I must be thinking of a different Pilatus because um, I was thinking of a really fast one. Well, the altitude's pretty good on this one, but. Yeah, this has to be bush tires. So let's do the regular one. Um, you know, look at all these options. Livery one is called. Let's do the default. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. That shall be the same. Let's close this up. And let's find somewhere else to go that isn't Minneapolis. Um, let's go over here somewhere. Let's see. What random spot can we pick? Let's do something in Australia. Let's just go over somewhere in Australia. And yeah, this place looks great. Let's do a cold and dark for this one. The reason why you didn't do cold and dark for the Vola City is because the glass cockpit isn't supposed to, or isn't working if you do cold and dark. So let's just start somewhere where we can get out. Let's start. There's our departure. And of course, we'll do real world weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And time of day. Let's back it up a little bit so it's kind of morning-ish. And let's fly. And we'll follow the built-in checklist for now until, until I make my own checklist, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this thing load. I appreciate those who are watching. Looks like we've had a dozen people or so come and go. And if you're watching right now, very cool. Thank you so much. My live streams have been pretty popular, but as rebroadcasts. So I have to speak as though I'm aware my audience is going to be watching this later. That's when most people are going to watch it. All right, let's see here. Ready to fly. Okay. We are at the fuel station. That's kind of what I thought. All right, first of all, I don't have any presets in this one. Let's hop outside and let's have a peek at what this looks like. And those of you who are joining us, um, I already talked about the DX11 versus DX12. With DX11, you with everything max in an urban area with terrible weather for frames and performance. I was getting like 35 frames per second. I changed it to DX12 and I was getting barely 20. So I don't know what happened there, but my performance with DX12 was almost half. So not sure. Alrighty, cool. Um, yeah, this isn't the plot I was thinking of, but I'm still excited about it. Still excited about it. Looks okay, right? I've always been a fan of default aircraft. I know they're not payroll quality. Um, some are like basic payroll quality, but they're way better than freeware quality. They're in that middle range. Um, but I I appreciate the default aircraft quite a bit. Um, I'm going to make that preset one if I figure out what I'm doing. 
How's our ride height? Pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see here. Um, let's do for... Um, I'm not going to set up all my views, of course, just because that takes a lot of time. And I can do that stuff off camera. But I like to set up some views right now just so we can look around. As we fly, let's do something like this as my number zero and then we'll just come across here as my number nine um these are the doors looks like uh with oh, here is there you go here that here that oh no there's glass or there's plastic or something uh let's do like this dirty window dirty window this will be number eight for now there we go and we'll move this to advance this ahead for number seven and come down here to do, do, do whoops not that no 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 this one there we go do this for our ifr and out of that's not open no that's not autopilot that is radio um well there's autopilot so let's do this is our number two i guess maybe bump it over just a little bit can't get in between there there we go let's be our number two since you're here, let's just set up number four. There we go. Whoop, and I lost my monitor. Come back, monitor. All right. Actually, no, we want this as number four. So we can see everything. Um, actually, can I click those from here? Let's see. Can I, it says autopilot up there. That's interesting. Um, whatever. Whatever, good enough. Uh, what else do we need over here? Yeah, there's some more stuff we need over there. Okay, I'm going to set those views later. I just want to get something started. What is this? What's this disaster? Okay, we need that in view. So that'll be number three. Just because we need this to do stuff here. Oh, no, no. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, let's see. That'll be view three. Okay. Good enough for now. And what do we have for, like, anything down between the seats we need? What's this stuff? Well, that's just our trim and controls. And anything up above here. Ooh. What do we got going on here? Nothing. All right. Good enough for me. All righty. So let's bring up the checklist, which is this one. Yep. And let's run through this a little bit. Let's check this out. Where are we at for stream? 48 minutes already? Oh, it's 9.30 my time already. I just started. Wow. Time goes fast when you're having fun. All right. Let's see. Um, Cool, cool. Not terribly worried about this. All right. Starts with off, off, off. Test, test, test. Um, on and checked. So let's see this. Uh, okay, we need to do some of this. We need some of this stuff. We need to do that. Where are you? Why are you giving me eyeballs? You're supposed to show me where you are. Um, I mean, I can assume batteries over here, right? Is there external power? There is. All right. Um, battery on and checked. It's already on. That's why. Radio avionics. Whoa, let's um hide you a second. Do 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 do. Where's the on button? Is it that one? No, that's volume on this one. I thought one of these was an on button. It is another simulated garment. <laughs> okay, maybe there's the avionics over here then. Um, beacons. Why is this stuff on already? Landing, battery. Um, yeah, we'll turn that in a minute. Interior lights. Oh, there we go. I think I found it. Avionics. Bam, bam. There we go. Does this give a sound? No, but we have anti ice, which we need. No, we're not in Australia. We don't need it right now. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. What is next? Um, uh, how do I silence that alarm? Down here? There we go. 
radios on fuel valve oh come on it's not gonna tell me where it is it's supposed to tell you where it is Toss system test. there's okay. the pump there's idle cutoff fuel valve external control um let's see let's be smart about this it doesn't say pump it says whoops it says valve which is different usually if you go like this it'll tell you where it is and it's not telling me where it is so now we got to figure it all out on our own which is okay but we're going to be here for a while um is it between the seats no so this thing that's not clickable there it is fuel system valve did that open no it was open because it's open down there it says see look look see look see if we go over here whoop if we go over here and we turn this way we look we go like that oh no that's closed okay open there we go all right fuel valve open what is next engine instruments check i haven't started it yet so how can the whatever open auxiliary pump on that was this one i believe yep clear starter switch so we need the ignition no starter starter on ignition on does it go up another one no well it was going whoopsie sorry low idle um does this do anything no oh, my yoke thing does nothing which is fine okay Idle, low idle, yes it is. Monitor, that's over here. Again, I'm just going through this very quickly. When I fly this plane regularly, I'm going to have a whole fancy checklist. Starter switch off, ignition off. I have to wait for it to finish climbing, though, probably. Oil pressure, green selector. Stabilize me below 660. Yeah, not a problem. Just so wait a minute here until they'll stabilize. And then we will continue on with our checklist. Oh, it's stable. Okay, it's stable. Alright, let's go over here. Whoa, in the right program, please. I just typed a three somewhere else. Turn that off. Bam, bam. Good. Um, prop full forward. Generator on and checked. Generator. On. It's already on. That's off. That's on. Okay. Um. Energy above 51. We are at 53. Radio on. Because we already are. Compass synchronized as required. It shouldn't drift. There's a barometer. Yeah, there we go. Attitude indicator erected. Um. This one maybe. Before taxi, check secure, landing lights, nav lights on, parking brake brakes, stabilizer, flaps. Free and clock set, set, auxiliary pump on, that's always on. Down here we have our regular pumps on, no other external, anti-ice is required, sure. Um, strobe lights, oil temp, flight, heading control, high idle, take off, torque, yes, yes, in route, flaps, yep. Yep, all this is normal stuff. On during heavy rain for ignition, so to reignite if it gets wet, maybe before landing. Ignition turns on, until you pump is on already. Heating control off, landing lights are required. This is all normal stuff, and then shut down. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty, super easy. Um, let's fly this thing around a little bit. Let's see what we want to do. Well, that's loud. Maybe it's loud for you too. I don't know. Uh, we have to go get out of here though without running into something that will collide us. So let's see if we can make a U-turn. But what we can do is we can go to our new weather thing and select live weather and see what's closest. Um, 200 degrees, 15 knots. 
200 degrees, 15 knots. So 200 degrees, we kind of want to take off the way we're facing, which means we'll probably take off right there on that runway, probably, whatever that says. That should face us towards 215 degrees. That would make sense. Yeah, 140. No, that'd be better over there. That one would be way better. So we're going to taxi way the heck over there. All right, let's see here. What do we need to do to taxi this thing out of here? Um, That can't be our preset one. There we go. That's our preset one. All right. Um, let's see. What gives me... What do I get in this view? Do I get flaps in this view? Yes, I do. So this will be our five. Okay. There we go. And again, I lost my monitor. Dang it. All right, here we go. Um... Oh, okay, it's going to roll on its own. Okay. Hopefully that's not too loud for you. Hopefully you can stick my voice okay. And do we have a collision? No, it loves to go through there. Oh gosh, it's going wherever it wants. That's not... Um, there you go, let's go that way, please. Okay, we're going to go through the parking lot? No. I guess it was 15 knot wind, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Was it 15 knot wind, did it say? Yeah, no wonder why it's going all crazy. But we'll do the best we can. We'll see if we can get... Come on. Oh my gosh, they're going to tip us over. Holy buckets. Look at that. Even with the right rudder, it only wants to go left. <laughs> because it's so stinking windy. Wow. Can we go through here? At least with this wind? This is not so... Okay, let's go this way. As long as we don't have to turn right. I mean, we are STOL. She just take off. Let's just let's just go. I really don't care. Oh my gosh. Oh, full left rudder, and it's not letting us. Do. Up, 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 up. There we go. Whoa, that's nuts. That wind. Obviously, it's fixed gear. We'll bring in flaps in a second here. See if we get some speed. Interesting. This is fun. Cool. Let's look out the window here. Wait, this is my preset nine work. I guess I didn't do preset nine. I thought I did. All right. Don't sink. Don't sink. I'm not sinking. I guess maybe I thought it was. All right. Let's see. Let's jump out of here in the zoom. Is this the zoom? No. Nope. Is this the zoom? No. Nope. That's my page button. Um, let's see. We do we're climbing pretty good. Yeah, we're climbing really good. Where's my map? Zoom. So this is not this one. Where is the heck? There we go. Goodness, okay. We're just gonna fly around for a little bit. We may or may well, I guess we should try to land this thing somewhere. Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is so fun. I like this airplane already. It'll be fun to spend some time staring at everything and figuring everything out, which I'm not going to waste your time doing. Like, figure out the autopilot. Um, let me try autopilot. And let's do heading. Is it going to follow my heading bug over here? Maybe. And I don't want it to do the alt already. Is it going to straighten out for the heading bug? It is. And we can do alt, there we go. If I do alt select, will it climb? We've got some clouds coming up here. Let's do alt select a little higher. No, I have to hit up to get it to climb, right? Okay, yep, I remember that kind of autopilot. Yep, that'll make it climb that way, very good. Okay, so we're in autopilot, we're looking around. Looking around the Pilatus. Whoa, excuse you. Let's try that again. Let's go over here. And zip, 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 zip. Do, 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 do. Hanging out. Like I would always, in real life, I always have my nose stuck to the window in an airplane. Driving your buddy around me crazy. There we go. And is it going to stop at 2000? It is. Sweet. Perfect. Alright, awesome. Now let's land this thing somewhere and move on to the next aircraft. So let's kill Autopilot. 
after all that. Very simple autopilot. I love this plane already. I have a feeling this is going to... How do I turn it off? There we go. I have a feeling... I'm going to be flying this one a lot. Alright, where should we land? In a field somewhere? Let's land in a field somewhere. Let's see. What looks good? It all looks good. It all looks good. Mm -hmm. I know we're going fast. We're not going to land at this speed. Don't worry. We are going to get low and then just level out. You know, we find a spot that's going to leave. Let's see. Five hundred. Mm, you know, we got to bleed off speed too. So let's go down this road. There we're bleeding off speed. Does this have reversers? I don't know if it does or not. I don't think so. It's not a true. This is a turbo prop. We'll find out. Flap one. And flap two. Is there three flaps or two? There might be three. Oh my! Look at that crosswind. Oh gosh, that's some insane crosswind. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna land. Get my reverser key. I don't think it has reversers. No, it doesn't have reversers. We're taking off again. <laughs> We're taking off again. All right. Here we go. Yep. I know. It's rough because I was trying to see if it had reversers. And we're going to tip over because... Oh, that wind is so ridiculous. And we nosed down. I haven't done that in ages. We still... Wait, what? It's still letting us go even though I nosed, nosed it down. This wind is nuts. Okay, I can't even steer this thing. It's going wherever it wants to. You'll call the way back while you slam on the brakes. There we go. That's better. Parking brake. Um, cool. I like this a lot. I'm going to have to um, um, get used to a few different things though. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure there's no reversers. It's just... Wait, yes it is. Look. Reverse. Yes it is. Reverse. But, okay, my reversers aren't working. Okay, that's the problem. Um, controls, controls. And let's do Eclipse Yoke. And let's search by input. Yes, it is. Toggle, toggle, reverse, thrust. So why didn't it go reversers? Let me do this one. This one is... Brakes, yep. This one, yeah, this is one I've been using for ages for reverse thrust. So why is it not working now? Uh, that's weird. So what's supposed to happen and what I have been doing all along is if you go like that, that's forward, right? If I hit my reverse thrust, it's supposed to reverse now. And it's not. So... Why not? Okay, it's trying to... Hmm. Okay, that's forward. Okay, so now we gotta figure out this game. And let's search here and do reverse. Let's see what comes up. Hold reverse thrusts. Wait. Tog these are new. Toggle propeller reverse thrust. Okay, now this would be like reverse in a jet. Um on press. Oh, this is all new stuff on release. Let's do that. It's so it's gonna double it, but I don't care. Because then it'll work for both types of aircraft, right? It'll work for props and throttle. I mean, yeah, right? So, like, it'll work for jets and turbo props. Let's see what it does now. No, that's props back here. No, that's doing the prop thing. Hmm. Okay, that's still forward. 
as it should be if I toggle it let's go forward what is going on here why is it not why is it not going back? Let me try the other one. And this is what you get to see on live streaming, folks. <laughs> this is where it's um different than when I edit things out. All right, so let's do this. Let's clear this. I think I hit clear like 10 times if I remember. And then again, I'm losing my monitor every time I do something super weird. Let's hold, I guess. Oh, let's scan for an input. Scan. Validate it. And let's do it for both because, yes, we want it to work. Well, maybe we don't want to do the props. Never mind. We just wanted to do the throttle. Maybe hold instead of toggle. I mean, I've been using toggle reverse. Toggle throttle reverse. I've been using since the sim came out. And it's been fine. And now it doesn't work. Nope. Nope. Still doesn't. Still won't go into reverse. Look at what's supposed to happen if I go like this. Boom forward. I push my button. It's supposed to go down into reverse. See? That's hold. Not doing anything. And toggle didn't work either. So, I'm going to have to add that to my to-do list to figure out why why that's not working. So, let's for now clear this and do it the way I had it originally, which was um, like this. This is the way I've had it for, well, not years, the same as it's been out for years. <laughs> Since the sim came out, this is how I've always done it. Um... I don't know why it's not working. What if I put it on a keyboard command? Try it that way. Let's see how it goes here. Um, reverse, I guess I could have just kept it. Toggle reverse thrust. I mean, what can I use? Already used for drone up and down and sim rate. Um, can I go Alt R? That's for auto airspeed hold. Can I go control R? That's for repair refuel. Can I go shift R? Auto throttle. <laughs> okay, I just want to use a thing that I can remember. T? That's a lot of stuff. Alt T for thrust. Hey, Alt T is not used. Okay, let's do Alt T. And and save go back and if this doesn't work I'll just have to go on the forums okay so here we go that's forward alt T nope still forward I mean I can, see I don't want to go down here and have to manually do reversers myself that's not cool all right come here I won't even stay down for me anyway. Look at that. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna stop screwing. I'm just wasting everybody's time. Because I actually do have people watching, so I don't want to waste your time. Anyway, alright, so that's the Pilatus I need to figure out reverse thrust, not only for this aircraft, but all the triple props, I would imagine. Um I don't know. I just want to check one more time, make sure that is saved, so we're not introducing a variable, just making sure it's the way we left it. Yes, toggle refers to us too. Okay. Ooh, secondary one. Can I do that for both? What happens if I do that? Can I even do that? Alright, I know I'm wasting people's time, but I just really want this to stink and work. Good grief. I really want this to work. Oh. Oh, okay, forget it. All right, let me put this back the way it was so I don't introduce problems. And then we'll move on to another aircraft. Let's see, clear this one out. There we go. 
Okie dokie. Come back. Alright, so save. Alright, so we did the Volo City, we did the Plotus. We'll quickly do, I mean very quickly do the Cub Crafters NX Cub and the Pit Special One Seater. And that's just because we've seen those craft before. Just slightly different variations of them. I'm going to do the Super Hornet. I think I'm going to save the Discovery Flight for videos, to be honest. Or a different live stream some other time. Maybe I'll do that for a different live stream. Um, what am I doing? I don't remember. Alright, let's see here. Let's see. We're Come back. There we go. No, no, that's here. Alright, so we did the... Blah, 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 let's do the Cub Crafters and X Cub. Where's my backspace? And X. So what this is, this is the Cub Crafters X Cub, but it has a nose wheel. So like nose X Cub. That's basically what that means. Um, let's do something else in Australia. I see that? Uh, yeah, let's do Ululu. Where's the airport for it, though? Well, where are you? What? I know it's around here because we've flown here before. There's the rock. The airport's over there. It is. All right, let's do Golden Dark. And World War Brother, etc., etc. And let's just fly. And what this is going to do for us is we're just going to fly this X Cub that we like and then land it somewhere nearby. Um, on its nose, then we'll do the pits with the one seater, and then we'll do the Boeing Super Hornet. And then I'm going to tackle the Norway Bush trip. We're going to start the first two legs again and see if it actually saves our progress. But we'll talk about that later, me and myself. And then in a different stream, I might have a few stream times left before my stream week is over maybe we'll stream the new discovery flights we'll see oh um, this is gonna be one all right so how do we start this thing up i can't remember we've done this so many times let's see if i can just quickly um quickly maybe master and you have to turn anything on that's weird why do you start up on your own uh, fuel on and ignition that doesn't do anything this one okay where's the key it's over here. That's right. I remember. Now I remember. There we go. We should be starting up. That simple. That one doesn't do anything. Oh. This one doesn't do anything. Okay. Let's turn all this stuff on. There we go. Alrighty. We aren't even going to taxi out because we've been taking so much time to do this. We're just literally just going to take off. <laughs> literally just going to take off. And, um not hit anything it's really windy here too oh my goodness it is windy in australia today folks brakes to stop the wheels gear is fixed flaps coming in again we've flown this thing many times as a tail dragger but now we're flying it as a tricycle so there's the uh, air rock by the way which we have flown there before so let's just do a quick little pattern and land this thing and um, the textures in this, though, are looking really cartoonish. Like, way more cartoonish than the other one. Like, look at that. I guess it's a chrome handle, but... This is looking so much more cartoonish than the regular one? That wouldn't make any sense. Why would it be like that? Why wouldn't they just use the same one and put a nose wheel on it? I don't know, but anyway, that's been my big complaint about the simulator aircraft. It's not the way the aircraft work or handle. Like I said, they're better than freeware, not quite as good as payware. They're obviously not study level, but they're perfect for 95% of the people. Um, however, they look so cartoonish on both the inside and the outside compared to X-Plane aircraft. It's kind of frustrating because everything else is great in the sim. But these airplanes are looking more and more cartoonish. I don't understand why. Anyway, let's just come back super fast here for a um, return of the airfield. And then we'll And with the nose wheel. How fun is that? Throttles back. Props forward. Let's slip it here. 
Why not? It's a bush aircraft. Slippy, slippy, slippy. Slipping means you can get a lot of altitude loss while you lose speed instead of increasing speed, and it is really herky jerky. Yep, let's come in. We're coming in way too hot for a landing, but we have a very long runway. So we're just going to land. We're going to come down, level out, to bleed off speed, and then land. Look at that crosswind. Holy moly. Anyway. The scenery here, too, is kind of weird. The scale is off, right? You can see bushes and stuff in the ground in the satellite imagery, but it's not there in the detail, so it looks kind of funny, but whatever. First set of flaps. We'll go two flaps on this landing. Second set of flaps. Looking for the numbers. Crosswind from the left, so we'll do left wing down, right rudder. And there we go. Smooth as silk. Bam. Nose wheel down gently while the wind blows us all over the place. Boom. And slam on the brakes. Very cool to have a tricycle landing in this thing. There you go. That was a quick one, but that's all he wanted to do. The pit special is next, and that's the difference with the new pit special is it's a one-seater. So we're going to try that. There are other aircraft I haven't done, like the Cessna with all the different landing types, landing configuration, like skis and um, what you would call it, floats and things. Whoops, wrong menu. So let's check out the pits really, really quickly here. And we'll see how this goes. All right, the pits, it's the pits. The single seater. What liveries do we have for this one? Oh my word. Let's do the default though to see how cartoonish it is. Close that up. Let's go somewhere else. Somewhere with a lot going on. Ooh, we've flown this whole thing before. Where are we here? Hong Kong. Should we take off here? Let's um let's not do cold and dark just because I want to fly around super quickly and check this out. The single seater. Um and then we'll do the Super Hornet. Oh my goodness. I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. It's going to be a learning curve for me to do fighter jets, but we'll do them. We'll learn them. And then the flight training modules, those are added, but that's going to be separate videos. And the discovery flights, either separate videos or I will do another live stream. Like it's Friday, tomorrow, Saturday. I still have, and Sunday night, I still have three nights that I can stream. Maybe some daytime stuff, depending on what my kids are doing. So maybe we'll do the Discovery Flights as another stream. Alright, oh golly. Yes, that looks okay. It doesn't look as bad. Um, let's see here. Let's get that set up as one. Then we'll come up here. Oh, can't do... No, 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 no. Do this. Can we? There we go. That'll be whoop, that'll be seven. So we see what we're doing there. Alright, good. Good enough. Alright, parking brake off. No flaps, I don't think, on these things, right? On these acrobatics. Acrobatics. Um, it's windy here too. Holy cow. We're not doing very well with the wind, are we? Brakes us up the wheels. Whoa, this is a very light aircraft. We can't even back up anymore. We cannot back up. Okay. Are we climbing straight to the sky? Yeah. Alrighty. So this is a cute, tiny little thing. Oh, look how tiny and stubby that is. That is adorable. That is adorable. Whoa. I do not recommend doing that from the side view. Alright, let's hop inside see what we're doing. Very cool. Alright, airspeed. Nice. So yeah, the scenery still looks amazing like usual, but the airplanes are very cartoonish. It's always been one of my complaints about the simulator. Oh, the default aircraft look cartoonish. Even some of the paper stuff looks cartoonish too. The sim must just be the way the sim does textures maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. 
Where are we headed? I don't know where we're going. We're just kind of playing around here. Buzz the towers. Hey guys. How's it going? How you doing? Let's not bounce. Ooh, or hit the terminal. <laughs> so we climb up to get into a stall here. Well, what's with that rendering up there? That's kind of looking like Forza 5. Forza Horizon 5. Here we go. I don't think we can do a loop to loop. Oh, we can. Oh, I thought we were way too low and way too slow. Okay. We did it. That was pretty dangerous. Um, oof. All right. So here we go. Let's slow down. I think we can land on this little thing, and then we'll try the fighter. If you're just joining us, we're just kind of checking out all the game of the year update stuff and um, we talked about all the settings got defaulted and of course this could be terrible landing by the way super cross wind no, no, no permission no I didn't because I'm just screwing around oh boy anyway we checked <laughs> fine um. <laughs> this is super funny we're just kind of not screwing around, but we're just taking things lightly here tonight. Talked about how all the settings got redone. I had to go through all my settings. And we're going to tip over. Yep, we're on the wing. That's super funny. Um, DX12 makes my frame rates go down to an unusable level. So we're still in DX11. Um, the training modules where I'm going to do in separate videos. The discovery flights, the new ones will either be different videos or a different live stream. So right now we're just going through the five new aircraft of the game of the year edition we have one left to check out and that's going to be the fighter and then we're going to see if they really did fix the bush trips by actually doing two legs of the norway bush trip which will take about an hour and a half but we're going to do it um let's see yeah so here we go let's get out of here and go to the main menu whoops wrong button wrong button and my wife is texting me from Aruba, where it is midnight. Many hours past her bedtime. And um, just a moment here. I'm actually going to respond to her. Since I don't think anybody's watching right now. Is anybody watching right now? Um, no, my account just says nobody's watching. So if you are, say something in the chat. But we're just going to take a quick break here for a moment. Um, and I will be right back.
All right, and we are back here. I'm going to be careful of my chair again. All right, last plane to try here, and then we'll maybe do the landing challenge, I guess, as well. Um, is the Super Hornet, which if you just go super, it'll probably work out there. There we go. Now, I don't know anything about fighter jets, really, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, let's just start over here at this airport. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like here. Cold and dark. Right there. Okay. Departure. Everything else will stay. Um, however it is. Time, weather, whatever. And we'll hit fly. And... Give me a little break here. I was looking for... Other people having issues with reverse thrust and everything for both jets and turboprops. And apparently, ever since the beginning, various people have been having the same issue where they push the button or they assign something that doesn't work. For me, it used to work until this update. So, I don't know. It's supposed to push a button and then being your throttles forward again and then bam, you reverse. But, I don't know. That's why I didn't explain. That's why I have been doing it in this, this simulator for a long time now. So, I don't know what changed or why it doesn't work. Have to try a different aircraft. Check the Discord, check with other people, see why it doesn't want to reverse for me. But I'll do that off camera, not waste anybody's time. Alrighty, so let's get this going and then we will try those two legs of the bush trip and see if the bush trip stuff is fixed. Alright, here we go. Now, um, let's do this as thing one. There we go. Alright. The only time I've flown fighter stuff is when I would fly the flighter, the fighter in a Google Earth flight simulator. I don't even know if they still have that maybe they do, but <clears throat> I used to do that. That was pretty fun. All right, before starting engine, um, parking brake set off, anti skid on flaps, two, 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 two. Auto on landing gear down, of course. Hook up, light note, battery off. Starting engine, battery on. Now this one tells you where everything is. See, that other airplane it didn't. EPU on. There we go. EPU ready light. Wait about 30 seconds it says. Um, so we will. Until the light comes on. Do do do. Can't edit this out when you're live though. There it is. Engine crank. R. R. Um, right throttle. Idle went in two. But I only have one throttle on my yoke, on my axis, but. Hmm. Anywho. Um, oil pressure. This thing on. It is on. Oh, this thing. On, bright, whatever, okay. Bleed air normal. Can't really see it from here. I have to assume this is normal, I guess. Um, it was normal, yep. Let's see, engine crank L. Oh, returned itself, good. And there's L. Um, Throttle went into crank check off. So that'll turn itself off in a moment. Before taxi on, it must already be on because we can see it. And there we go. Wings spread. Spread your wings. They already are. I remember that stuff. Flaps half. They are. APU check off. Wait for that to get back to the middle. Come on. Go to the middle. And we'll be able to turn it off. Come on. Do, 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 do. There we go. APU off. Before takeoff. Um, spread and lock. Half. Okay. Alrighty. We will finish that. After we taxi, so let's 
taxi somewhere. Hey, there's not crazy wind anymore. Yes, there is. Or am I just going too fast, maybe? Whoa. This will be fun to learn in detail. Not right now. I don't know what it is with my brain, but everything just... Even the scenery kind of looks cartoony-ish, which... I checked all my settings during my break, and everything is cranked to the max. So I don't know. I think it's all in my head. I think I'm getting so much Forza Horizon with all those settings cranked, with the photorealistic everything, that... I'm expecting this to look like Forza. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, here we go. Um... I'm just gonna go out here. I don't even know if we're into the wind, to be honest. I'm just gonna check this out. Because I just wanna do those bush trips super or not do the bush trip super fast. I just wanna check the bush trip thing, but that is gonna be another hour of flying or more, so. Um, I just wanna check out this last new airplane. Will we ever see this again? Maybe. Probably. Just like the rest of them. I mean, this plane doesn't look as cartoonish as the others. Alright, cool. Um, I do have that thing in my mind with the reversers not working. That is super strange. In fact, I'll probably just stay up after the stream, even though it's really late. And I'll try to figure that out, because that's going to bug me now. Until I figure that out. But I'm not going to bother you with it. Alright. I'm not going to take up. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Let's line up. We're going to wait 10. Let's stop a second. Oof. I can pull up that checklist and it says um, spread and locked. Spread. Yep. And flaps half still. Yep. And hook up. Light out. After takeoff, landing gear up, flaps auto. What's that going to look like? No, not you. Not. Um, auto must be up all the way. Yeah. Wait, what? There's just... Yeah, there's full half auto. Okay, we want half. And flaps and gear down. That's it. What about... What about spreading your eagles here? Hang on, come back. What about this? Fold, right? That's gonna fold the wings in. Yep. And you want them out. There we go, spread. Just two options. Okay, we better wait for it to finish unfolding before we... <laughs> before we go. Okay, that's it. Much simpler than I thought. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, my wife is still texting me from Aruba. <coughs> Let's see. She's going to bed it's after midnight. And, um, let's get ready to go here. <coughs> Excuse me, losing my voice. All right. Sorry, I know I have people watching. You joined me right when my wife is saying goodnight from Aruba. <laughs> and I don't want to miss it. I haven't seen her in a week. Almost it's been over a week now. I'm just about. Okay. There we go. Parking brake is off. Everything's forward. I don't know if there's like afterburners or anything. I don't know. I just know we're going very fast. And she's trying to text me more. Okay, can we pop up yet? Pull up. Pull up. Yeah? Pull up. Pull up. What? Luna? Not sure what that means. Anywho. Alrighty, let's see. What kind of cool stuff can we do in this thing? I don't know what the limits are, but... Whoa, we're just gonna go crazy because we can. Then we'll try and land it. And then we'll what? Sink rate. Then we'll see if the um 
Those trips are actually fixed. Hello. This is really fun, actually. I honestly didn't think this would be that fun to fly. I love it. This is so fun. Oh, I'm going to be doing this way more often than I thought. Cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. There's all this stuff on here. Oh, this is nice. This brings back memories when I used to do the jet. I think Google Earth Flight Simulator. What did you hit, like, Control-Alt-ZZ or something? Then you would get the... Or Alt-Shift-Shift or something. Then you would get the, um... Flight Simulator in Google Earth. I'm talking back sort of 2005, 2004. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. It's very simplified, but I don't care. Um, I lost our airport. Uh oh, what happened? I lost my monitor again. Oh, so frustrating. Um, let's go to that airport over here to the right. This dang HDR10 stuff that makes my monitor lose. And my monitor goes out. It's only in the simulator. All other games are fine. Man, those are some low clouds. This is live weather, huh? At least we know weather works. Remember when it used to be that if you did consecutive flights, the weather would just stop working in between? Remember those days? Well, that's behind us. But anyway, I'm having issues here with each jar 10. So what happens is the monitor jumps in and out. And, um... Can't see what I'm doing for a couple seconds at a time. Only happens with the flight sim. Doesn't happen with any other game or program or anything. So I don't know. Okie dokie. I'm relying on this map to get us to. That airport way over there. Actually, wait. Do you think we can land at this one? We're going way too fast to land at the airport right in front of us. Yeah, way too fast. <laughs> I don't think there's spoilers or anything. We buzz the tower and do a circuit. Does this have reversers? I think so. I don't know, maybe it does. Um, I don't think we can land on that little thing. I don't know. I just know that this is really freaking fun is what this is. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's, whoops, active Let's go back to our original plan, which was to go to that airport way over there. That one, which will not take us long, because we are going to go full steam ahead. And then use final to slow down. We're going to stay nice and low. We're like 500 feet above the ground. 600 feet above the ground. It says we're below sea level. Okay. Oh no, that's our VS. Never mind. Let's see here. Oh, let's head back towards that airport. It's going to take us forever. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Nice. Let's not crash though. I want to actually try to land this thing. Oh, this is awesome. I feel like I'm in an IMAX movie. There you go. Nice sharp turn. I don't understand what she's saying, but we're still alive, so that's good. We're gonna head to that airport right there, I think. If I can figure out how to get through with all these clouds, then we'll land. Thank 
gear down. Flaps full, I guess. No, the flaps are auto. Now they're coming down. Or maybe we're just too fast to come down. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Looks like we got two runways to choose from. We'll choose the left since that's how we're better lined up. I don't know what stall speed is or anything in this aircraft. I just feel like we've completely stopped moving now because we were going so fast for so long. Now I feel like we're not even moving. Even though we're still moving at a pretty good clip here. We're doing 223 knots. Lines it up pretty good. Alright, here we go. is a little low. Not changing for me. Making my hurry. Here we go. Let's clear these buildings. And we'll land and we'll check out the bus trip. See if the bus trip's actually fixed. Okie dokie, so I don't know how slow we're supposed to come in. I'm sure we're going way too fast. Pull up. Pull up. Right? Crosswind from the left. I don't know if there's air brakes. What? Why are you tipping? What the heck? Oh, I assume we're coming way too fast. I have no idea what she's saying. Come on, I'm gonna run a runway here. I just wanna land this thing. Come on. Kiss the ground, please. There we go. Whoa. There we go. I don't know if they're reversers or not. Because my reverse thing isn't working. There we go. Nice. So, we stop. And we set the parking brake. Then we come over here and we fold up the wings. We turn everything off. We fold up the wings. There. How do you turn stuff off? It's over here somewhere. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to keep running the wings folded. Whoops. Too many buttons. There we go. Alrighty. So we will come back to this plane and learn it better later. That's a good introduction anyway. So let's see, let's end this, and let's do the bush flight thing I'm talking about. That's how we'll end the stream. Again, that's another hour out, because it'll be an hour, like, the flying for these, this bush trip thing to see if it works. But let's get started now. Hey, guys, look, a lot of people watching for me. Thank you, guys and gals. Very cool. Um, so let's talk about this bush trip thing as soon as my screen comes back. There it is. Let me explain the problem. Those of you who have seen my bush trip videos, which I do a lot of them, because we're going through them all. Normally, what you could do is you could start a bush flight, do a leg or two, come back to it later, keep going, blah, blah, blah. Well, with the previous update to the sim world update, or sim update 6, I think they broke it. So if you started a bush trip and you um, flew continuously, you could keep going. But as soon as you stopped and came back, it wouldn't let you keep going. So, for example, I did leg one, checked us off. Came back another time, did leg two, won't check us off. And that's where we got stuck. And we tried that with another bush trip two. Then if I reflew, if I refly from one and go without stopping, then we could get through them all. But that's not realistic. This thing's seven and a half hours long, right? So, earlier I tried starting here to see if it would just check us off so we could continue. But it didn't work. We're going to load it and try one more time. Because this was actually all zero and I see that's back now. And if it doesn't work, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and fly leg one. But we're going to take a shortcut. We're not going to follow the directions because I've already done it. or have a video on it. We're just going to fly straight to the airport. Save some time. And then quit the bush trip. Come back. Do leg two. 
and it should check us off if it's truly fixed. If it doesn't check us off, it's not fixed. But first, let's just load this anyway, and maybe it'll let us continue. Maybe, um, and I then I don't have to refly everything, but we'll see. I'm gonna take off and land at the same airport. I don't think it's gonna work. I think we have to refly this from the beginning because whenever they make a big change to a bush trip, we kind of have to start over. So I'm kind of glad I was only two legs in on this one, but we'll give this a moment here and then we'll um, see if it's fixed or else we'll refly it. But like I said, leaving and coming back in between. Um, gosh, my monitor hates this. Probably keeps going in and out. Okay, here we go. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah, see, it's not going to work. Um, too many things. I do want to check. This should have reverses in this one, right? This is a triple prop. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, this is the banana. This, this is the bonanza. I was thinking this was something else. Oh, gosh, what? No. Did it put all my crap back on screen? I don't want that crap on screen. No, I every time I load this, I have to turn the dumb thing off. So I'm gonna tell you what this is. This is in, um, not that one. I thought it was this. Um, yeah, see, instrument heads up display chase camp full. I can't turn that off. Oh gosh, that makes me mad. Because in regular free flights, I have this off. But in the bush trips, you can't turn it off. Oh, that ticks me off. Oh, are you serious? Because I use that all the time. This is how I get all my like scenery shots. It's from the outside, and I gotta look at this. Uh, how frustrating is this? How frustrating is this? I'm gonna put in a bug report. I'm gonna capture that exact entry and be like why can't they turn this off my parking brakes on though isn't it yeah why can't they turn this off um are you gonna go or what i'm stuck i'm literally stuck look at i can't move parking brake off parking brake off Parking brake, parking brake. Oh, this is hilarious. Where's the parking brake on here? So you can see it moving. Look at it. See? Pull for it on. Now it's off. And we're stuck to the ground. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh, Microsoft. You've got to be kidding me. We are stuck to the ground. Look at my, oh my, oh, I'm an active pause. That's why. Good grief. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, so let's stop. Whoa, whoa. What was that? Now I lost my monitor completely. Alrighty. Weird. I just want to land this thing and see if it saves the trip or else we have to start this one over. Come on. I know it's a terrible land. This is not how you land, kids. All right, it's saved. Do you see that save icon? Maybe it's gonna check us off. Then we can keep going. Please? No, we have to refly it. We have to refly it from the beginning. That's fine, that's what I expected to do. So, here we go. Here we go. We are going to um, redo this push trip from the beginning. Restart doesn't work, I already tried. Let's try it anyway. Let's try it anyway. Yeah, you can tell I wanted I don't want to refly this bush trip, even though it's been just two legs. I just want to continue the leg three. Um Nope. Not gonna work. Cause if you look, we're already at our destination. Okay, I'm really, really, really annoyed about this. <gasps> Wait! Yep, see it's on see, okay. The reason why I was off for a second is because I have that is um off for myself. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, so I'm trying to take all these notes to myself. What I want to do here, 
I got to put in a Zen desk ticket and say, hey, why can't I turn off the HUD from Chase Cam in bush trips? What a dumb thing to lock out. All right, let's see here. If we go to options and we go assistances and we go user experience, see, look. Heads up display, Chase Cam off. Heads up display, cockpit off. So for free flight, I have it off. Off, 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 off. But for some stupid reason in the bush trips, I think it's to make it easier for people. I don't know, whatever. All right, here we go, the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, I've been waiting for anyway. Restarting the Norway bush trip. Now, if you want to see leg one and leg two in detail, I have videos of those separately. We're just going to quickly redo these two legs. Quickly, it's going to take it out in 10 minutes. Just so that I can see if this will work. So we're going to redo this one. It'll check us off again. And then I'm going to leave the bush trips. Come back and do leg two. And if it checks us off, it's fixed. If it doesn't check us off, it's not fixed. So, fingers crossed that has Asbro really actually fixed this. So here we go. Do, 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 do. Everybody still watching? Hey, people still watching. Thank you, guys. And gals, very nice to see you here. I've been trying to mix up my flights and streams day and evening so different people can watch. Most of my views are European and Eastern from there, so I know it's like eight, like six in the morning for a lot of you. <laughs> so we've been coming in and out, so thank you. All right, here we go. All right. I said ready to fly, but my monitor's going all screwy on me. Okay. Yes, here we go. So what we're going to do is we are going to cheat a little bit. Um, we're looking for Golf Kilo... Because I've already done this. Oh yeah, that's right. This um, if you go from the beginning and don't quit, you get your line. You can just use GPS. But if you quit and it gets rid of your line, is that funny? It's kind of a bug, but no one's ever complained because they've never fixed it. It would either be you get your GPS for the whole thing, or you don't get it at all. But when we go here and we quit, it's going to um go away which doesn't matter because this is easy this is too easy right you just why am i even talking about this <laughs> i talk about this in every single bush trip video you can just watch me bush trip videos anyway so um we're going to go direct here well are we really going to save anything oh my gosh my water went on again oh, this hdr 10 thing um are we really going to save anything if we just... Yeah, we are not going to do the GPS. We are going to... Fly with heading bug on autopilot. Just so we can get directly to the airport as quickly as possible. So we're going to hit heading. Where are you heading? Hit U. And repair and refuel. And... Uh, autopilot. Whoops, not autopilot. Just flight director. <laughs> flight director. Heading bug. Altitude, we only need to go a couple thousand feet for this one. Let's just do 3,000 feet. Low, fast. Is it fast go like this? I guess it doesn't matter. And um, vertical speed, 700 feet per minute. Let's just go and get this leg done. Am I stuck again? There you go. Let's just get this leg. Oh, my monitor went out. I can't see. Oh, now it's back. Yes, I've been talking about this entire stream. Those of you who just joined, because a bunch of people just joined. The HDR10 thing, my monitor isn't HDR10 compatible, I guess. So even though I have it turned off in the sim, it's still, every time it does a view change or something, it blinks out. It's always been a problem, but it's never been this big of a... Come on, autopilot. It's never, I can't click on the... Duh. Come here. Autopilot, thank you. It's never been as much of a problem until this update. I don't understand. Um, so every time it's like a big view change, I lose my monitor for a second. But it's my monitor, and it's only in Flight Sim. No other program application game has that problem. Only Flight Sim. 
Anywho, what's the thing? Uh, Pedo Heat, really? Who cares right now? We just want to get this flying. So, I lost my monitor, can't see. Thank you. No, it's back. Where's Pedo Heat out here? It's over here somewhere. Yep, I know. Um, Pedo Heat, thank you. Come on. There we go. I did that using my OBS screen. Um. Yeah, so what are we going to do? We're just going to chit chat while we do this. So, using heading bug just to get. Come here. Just to get. Oh, that's right. This isn't a touch me. Just to get going. We're going to use this to line this up, though. Um, so, what do you want to aim for? We want to aim for. Man, that click spot changed. Hmm. Interesting. Oh my gosh, my mind. This is a problem. Especially if it happens when I'm trying to land. Okay, so right now... We're good. We're going to go right to the coast here, then follow the coast to our airport. That's all we're going to do. Very simple. And since they have an audience right now, we are going to chit chat in a minute. I just want to move my heading bug a little this way. This No, this way. This way. Just a little bit. So we go right to that coast. Okay, so... Um... Like I said already, those of you who are hanging out with me right now, and those of you doing the rebroadcast... Oh, we got more people. And those of you who are watching the rebroadcast... Um... I already flew this leg back when the bush chips are broken, so we're just going to take a shortcut, refly it, and then see if it saves our progress as we go. I just wanted to do this tonight because it's getting late for me, and I just want to sit back and relax and hang out a little bit. Um, so I'm just monitoring systems and making sure we're not going to blow anything up or anything. Um. So yeah, so it's Give me your update so far, those of you who haven't watched, those of you who didn't watch the first two hours <laughs> of the stream. We went through the menus and the changes in the menu. I love all the menu changes and everything. I think that's really cool. And we went through the five new aircraft. They're not bad. Um, I'm not completely happy with the uh, textures on them for some reason. They look kind of cartoonish compared to the other default aircraft. Um... I was not able to get the reversers to work in the Pilatus, which is weird because my reversers, until this version, have always been a button on my yoke to switch it to reverse, and then I use the throttle, but it would be in reverse. That stopped working for some reason, so I gotta figure that out off camera. I'm not gonna waste your time. Um, right now we're testing to see if the bush strips are really fixed, because though you know the channel, I've been going through all the bush strips, I love the bush strips, but they broke. Um, what else? Good and bad. Um, DX12 isn't working for me. DX12 brought my frame rates below 20, which is unusable. DX11, they're between 30 and 60. So I'm sticking with DX11, at least for now. Um, the HDR10 thing, it's turned off, but my monitor gets mad. So every time the sim does something that wants HDR10, it goes blank for me doesn't happen with any other programs or any other games or anything. It's just this one. But I know it's the HDR10 thing because other people have the same problem. Um, and now you're all caught up. All that was two hours summed up in one minute. And my monitor's not blank again. And now it's back. I'm going to see if other people have other solutions because I know I'm not the only one. And it was a minor problem before this update. It might happen once every couple flights. But now it's happening like a couple times a minute, which will make landing very difficult. Anyway, we're just going slow, not slow, we're going pretty fast, going kind of low. Um, this scenery looks so good from this altitude. So good from this altitude. And we're just heading to whatever it said. Golf Kilo, 45 minute flight. We're going to knock it down to like 35 or 38 minutes just to test this bush trip thing. Um, let's take advantage of the drone since we're not a pilot. Oh, look at that. Let's just keep that up for a little bit here while I 
look through some more of my notes. And everything. And I lost my money. Um, yeah, so there we go. So I'm just going to be quiet for a minute. My voice is getting hoarse and we lost most of our viewers. So those of you watching the playback, enjoy the scenery. Those of you who join me, you're not going to know because I'm not going to talk. <laughs> I'll see you in a little bit here. For the coast, aiming for the coast. Good, I'm ready. Um, I'm actually googling my monitor. You see, turning on and off, just to see if my HDR10 thing is still accurate. And I'm not finding anything online. One person said they have the problem, but I don't have a fix for them. So I'm gonna keep looking while you enjoy this view for a while.
right, let's see here. What are we doing? What we got going on? Um, not quite ready to show up for us here. Really close though. Oh, I cannot wait to test this. I'm so excited. So right now we're only seeing about two here, maybe. Or is it there? I don't know. This is so weird and crappy looking. I don't remember being that crappy looking. But still chugging along. Chugging along. Let's use this view for a while. I keep researching my HDR issue. Too fancy happening right now. Those of you who are joining us, oh boy, this monitor thing. I keep talking about it, I know, but it's driving me crazy and it's always happened, but not this frequently. Um, let's see, so where are we we're looking at? Like right here. Whew, a long ways to go. But we'll make it. We'll make it. Just have to be patient. I think this is a good speed. Maybe we should climb. Do you think we can get cover more ground if we go where the air is a little thinner let's do that let's go up to 4,000 feet just where the air is a little thinner not much but slow climb there we go cool alrighty uh, let's do another view should we do a window view Ooh, that was gorgeous let's do this window view for a while and I will keep reaching my monitor shoe <laughs> So I'm not talking so much, but I see a few of you have stuck with me for all this, so that's awesome. Thank you so much.
I think it. We can fix my monitor. I don't think it was each jar this whole time. Um, I was going through the settings. Probably heard the clicking because I didn't mute my microphone because I'm lazy. <laughs> wow, like eight people just came in and out. <laughs> cool, interesting. So I think. <clears throat> excuse me. I might have been. I might have been searching for a source. I mean, it could be HDR10 related because I know with like the achievements when the monitor pops in and out, it's HDR10 related. And I'm thinking what's happening is it's losing signal and searching for a source. Because I went through all the menu options. Everything was fine, except I noticed auto search for signal. Because I'm using display port 1 in. But auto search for... Nope, it just went out again. Dang it. The auto search was turned on for... Um, for the signal, I was thinking maybe that was it. Because the reason why I'm confused is because when the monitor goes out and comes back in again, my menu disappears. I guess no, that could still be the software telling it, and then the menu just goes away. Because no, okay, never mind. That's wrong. Because the menu, if I let it go, it times out after three seconds on its own. And that's how long it takes for my monitor to come back. So it's just coincidence that the menu is gone when it does that. Ah, bummer. I thought I was on to something. So I don't know. But again, it only happens in the simulator. No other games. No other program. Only in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 does my monitor go blank and come back, blank and come back, blank and come back. It's not HDR10 compatible. I do not get HDR10 settings in Windows. But I was just told, I've read actually, that it's HDR10 related. Because if we get achievements, if we get achievements in any game, then it blanks out and comes back. The only difference with the flight simulators, it blanks out and comes back for no reason quite a bit. And it used to happen once, a couple times a month or so. But ever since this update today, Game of the Year update, it's been happening a couple times a minute. Driving me up the wall. Okay, now it hasn't happened in a while. It changed that auto thing to off. I don't know. Let's um pay attention to what we're doing. Where are we going? We're going to um okay, so there's until there. And there's E and C and there. Okay, we're getting closer, folks. Oh, am I red blank? I can't see what I'm doing. Good gravy. Good gravy. Why won't our other... Oh, could it smaller than four? So there's Ento. So we're right about to cross this. And any minute... Well, there's this stuff here. that we should see GK, right? We're looking for Golf Kilo. Those of you who are just joining us, because they do have a lot of views coming through here um we're redoing like one or two of the bus trip from norway to see if the bus trips are actually fixed we will be done with trip like one a little bit and if we kept going for it was never broken but if we leave and come back that's when it was broken so we're going to try leaving and come back just to see if they fixed it or not hopefully they did they said they did um but anywho yeah Okay, I'm just thinking about that monitor stuff. Now, it's not happening as, as often when I did the don't search for auto thing. And I don't think it's my graphics card. I'm going to keep talking about this, sorry. <laughs> Bugging me. I don't think it's my graphics card because it only happens in the flight simulator. So it's not like my thing's overheating because like I have some other games that make my graphics card go just as crazy. Um, and it doesn't do this, so I don't know. Whatever. Um, golf kilo, and then the next link is pretty quick. All right, let's see. Let's set up some scenery here. I, mean, I don't want to fly over the airport because they're so busy looking around either. That'd be a bummer. Ooh, this is looking fantastic. Let's just look at that while I sit back and try to figure out what's going on with my monitor. Except, like I said, now that I changed it, oh, now it went up. Just as I said that. Never mind.
I set my monitor time out to 30 seconds and the screen went blank um, as I was going through the menu and when it came back the menu was gone so um, hmm so something the monitor like losing signal Like the monitor's losing signal. Interesting. And there was blank, and I hit the menu button as it was blank. And it was still, um, Goofy. Yeah, those of you who are just joining us, we are quickly reflying the first leg, first two legs of the nobody bush trip to see if they actually fixed the bush trip progress. That was broken. Why is the airport not showing up here on this map? Um, and in the meantime, I'm killing time by trying to figure out, okay, so it's just off screen here, trying to figure out why my monitor keeps going blank. If people have been with me for a while, you've already heard this, but those of you who are joining us, I've always had an issue only with Flight Simulator and also with achievements. So achievements in any game, Flight Simulator, while playing with my monitor will blank out for a minute and come back. And I was reading that as probably an HDR10 issue, because if you get an achievement, HDR10 goes off, comes back on, whatever. I don't understand. But in the simulator, my monitor goes blank and comes back. But it's a signal thing because when I have the menu up, the menu goes away. Um, and we need to adjust our course here. Yeah, we probably should. It would have only happen like once a month or so when I was in previous versions of the simulator. But in this version of the simulator, it's been happening like a couple times a minute, making it almost unusable. I don't understand why it's happening. It's not my thing overheating or anything. Because I have other games that run it pretty hard and they're fine. I just don't understand. But I gotta figure out at some point. I just don't know what to do. But I'll worry about it later. So right now though we're just focused on getting to the airport to leave the bush trip and come back and do the short leg and see if it saves it. I've been waiting for this fix for couple months. I'm very excited that this really does fix it. The first two hours of the stream we talked about the new aircraft, the new menu systems, a few other new things. Um, so I'm not talking much right now. We're just kind of hanging out, chilling like villains and enjoying the scenery like this. Actually, let's look behind this for a couple of minutes. There we go. Along the coast of Norway. Very good. Actually, we'll come in here a second because yeah. So every time I hit Control to set a view, my monitor goes off for sure. Isn't that weird? Like I can make it happen. Look at that. I'm hitting Control and hitting a view button. My monitor goes out every time. Why? This is so freaking weird. It's almost like I have hotkeys set up. Look at that. So every you can't see this, but every time I hit control button to set a view, my screen goes out and comes back. Never did that in other versions. Yeah, if I go around to switch views out here, I like to go blank. Whoa, that's kind of goofy. Nope.
Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Why do we have... Why... We got the crap stuff on the screen. Okay, wait a second. Why do we have our things on here now? We didn't have our controls before. What do we do now? Huh. Weird. Weirdness. I don't know what the heck is going on. So this view has the HUD. Can't turn it off in the bush strip, but you can do everything else. Drone does not have the HUD. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Alrighty, we're getting closer here to Ingo. Whoa, let's do the right thing. Do the right thing. Let's move left. A little bit. Maybe even a little bit more. See, now my monitor's fine, but I bet if I go to change my view or control it. Nope, that time I'm going to go blank. That time it did. And. That time it did. So strange. Yep. If I save a view, it go blank. Then it comes back. Save the view. Save the view. That time I go blank. All right, how are we doing? I know I'm not talking very much, but. Gonna lose my voice and I'll get this done. So I have had somebody watch me the entire time. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for joining me this whole time. I know it's not myself because I don't have myself loaded. But um, um thank you very much. So now my monitor hasn't Yeah, my monitor hasn't gone out a little bit yet, so I don't know what the heck. I don't know what the heck. Now it's fine, but I bet if I save a view, it'll go out. Yep. Oh, brother. Very strange. I don't even know where to ask about the Oh, no, we're out again. Hmm. I don't know, the same thing happens on my work computer if I'm logged into a customer VPN. My monitor will go in and out every once in a while. But if I'm not on the customer re VPN, it never ever goes out. How come airport is not showing up yet? Whoops. Come on. Show up on the GPS, please. I mean, we're getting really close. We're getting really close, so let's bring this thing down a little bit. Let's go to 2,500. I think that'll. I think we can make 2,500 work. Not smash anything. Let's do 2,700. I think that's well. There now it's working the inside outside thing. Vertical speed down. Keep an eye so we don't over speed. Oh, my water went out. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Hmm. And this is going crooked again. There we go. 
Look at those trees and the islands. So nice. So very nice. Okay. I'm just getting lost in the immersion. Let me set the view. And it goes blank. <laughs> Holy crap. Tough little glasses. I'm just gonna get goofy and loopy on this problem. My job, my day job, I'm a professional troubleshooter, which means I, um, I troubleshoot for a living. I troubleshoot things that no one else has the answer to because in my specific line of hardware, I am the one who knows what to do. So I don't have anybody to go to. If something doesn't work, I gotta figure it out, that type of thing. But this has me baffled. I'm trying to eliminate it. That's what you do is you work with, you eliminate variables, you eliminate issues, you start with those basic things. So it's almost like my monitor goes out because it's losing signal, right? And I know it's losing signal because if I have my OSD up and it goes blank, comes back, the OSD's gone. And if it's blank when I push the OSD button, it's still gone when it comes back. And I'm using DisplayPort, I always have, with all other games, all our Apple applications, blah, blah, blah. Never ever a problem. Only Flight Simulator. It was rare, but it happened until the update to date. Now it happens very frequently to the point where I can barely use it. There one plank again. I can force it to happen by setting a pre I can when I set up a view um, by any like control and a button, I can force it to go blank. So there's something there in the so there's something in the program that is forcing the simulator I mean the monitor to lose signal. And the question is, what is in the program forcing you know that stops sending the signal to the monitor? And it's only my main monitor, my other monitors are fine. So there's something in the simulator that is telling the computer to stop sending the signal. And what is it? And why is it happening more frequently now that it's been updated? Hmm. See this brown spot right there? That's your port. Monitor's no blank. But at the same time, when I watch my OBS preview, it's never blank there, right? So it's a display signal. I think it's HDR10 related because of the achievement thing. If you Google, monitor goes blank when I get an achievement. It's an HDR10 thing. Um, so it has to be somehow related. Come on, autopilot, turn off. All right, as long as we land this and don't crash, we will be checked off and then we'll move to, we'll leave the bush trip, come back for leg two and see how that goes and then it should check us off if it checks us off leg two after leaving and coming back then we're good and then after the stream i'm going to figure out if i can get my reversers to work on the turbo props as well as the jets because um, before this update my turbo props 
would reverse and my jets would reverse and now they won't so I gotta figure that out same key bindings and everything um, and then I gotta figure out this HDR stuff I don't know so let's start slowing down because we're getting there very quickly <laughs> of course I'm in a hurry to land and try leg 2 fortunately leg 2 is very short gear coming down good thing there's a chime because I was not going to put gear down I've had that happen before in some planes where I do so much GA VFR stuff and with you know fixed gear aircraft that I get into one with gear and I forget to put it down that's not very good alrighty so here we go coming in for rig girl my mind went blank <sighs> like I said it used to happen every once in a while but now it happens very often I mean maybe if I move to DX12 it would stop happening but then um, my frame rates were so low with DX12 it was barely usable alright here let's slow it a little bit more and this is going to slow down very quickly for us first set of flaps Mm, second set of flaps. I can't remember if there's three sets or not on this one, but we'll go full flap. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting tired. Let's not run into this tree gall. What the heck was I? <gasps> monitor's blank. I can't see. Oh no. Blind on approach. Because, okay, monitor's back. Oh, that was scary. Right, here we go. And coming down and do 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 and I know it's not my OBS causing my problems because um I've been doing live streams all week just fine chuck us off please thank you monitors blank what's it say checked off here we go next but we're gonna go back to the main menu and we're gonna leave the bush trip entirely we'll leave the bus trip and come back and see if we can do leg two or see if it'll check off leg two come on any day now monitor's blank i can't see anything this is ridiculous oh my gosh what the heck um I mean, there might be another option in here. That's blank. Can't see it. I mean, I can try maybe not doing full screen. I don't really want to do windowed. Ah, it's still blank anyway. <laughs> it just went blank anyway, even in windowed. So, and it's blank. And now it's back. Okay, so it's not a, um, it's not a display mode thing, because it went blank in windowed mode. That was weird. Anything else in here? Anything else in here I can figure out? Um, none of this stuff was going to have anything to do with signal to the monitor. I mean, I really don't want to use windowed mode because um, I'm thinking oh, I know I got people watching now I'm just trying to figure this out I don't think if I have to do window and mode then you're all going to see the top bar in both my videos and my live streams hmm should we try windowed mode and see if it stops? Let's just try it. I hate to have to use windowed mode, but we'll try it. So maybe see if make my problem go away. Um, because when I do play some of the recording videos now, I can't hook it to my Bandicam anymore. After some update, I can't hook it, so I have to do full screen recording. Whatever. Oh, nope, never mind. It went blank. My monitor totally just went blank. Yep. 
And now it's back, and now it's blank. I see my OBS is working. So, okay, we'll have nothing to do with it. Thank goodness. I'm glad that didn't fix it. All right, let's get going here. I know I got people watching. All right, yeah. I'm using OBS to change this because I can't see my monitor. Full screen. Full screen. There. Yep, keep changes. Thank you very much. 1440. Save. Okay, anyway, I have a lot of stuff to do off camera. All right, here we go. Bush trip. Let's do leg two. Monitor's back. There we go. Let's do leg two and, um, come on. Come on. And let's see if it checks us off. If it checks us off, then it's fixed. Okay, here we go. Leg two. We left the simulator and we came back. Hopefully this doesn't dump us at the end of the leg for this, though. We're going to have to delete our files and do it again. You know what I mean? If it won't put us where we left the airplane just now, then we have to delete the files. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Hopefully we don't have to do that. Let's see what it does. Let's see. Huh, people must like my landing. My watch time went up during that landing. <laughs> okay, good. We're in the right spot. I can't see Jack. Okay, so here we go. Um, turn that off. Turn this off. We are simply... Actually, let's turn that on. We're simply... See? Now the... Now the cheat line is gone. The GPS line is gone because... Um, where are you, airport? Oh, freaking monitor's put on again. Oh, I can't see. Okay, now we're back. Um, where are we going? Don't run here somewhere. If we go out, it disappears. But I know our airport. There it is. L I, right? E N L I. That's where we're going. Um, we can't use the GPS because if you leave and come back, your GPS goes away. Which I think is a bug that no one seems to complain about because they haven't fixed it yet. But if you leave the trip and come back, you lose your GPS, which is fine because it. Blink. There we go. We're back. Okay, so we're headed to right here. So if we just go straight and then avoid that train, we will get there. Okay, perfect. This click spot totally changed too. Alrighty, what do we want to do for altitude? Let's go to four grand. There we go. Let's turn pedo heat on just because it's bugging me that that's. Come on. There we go. Four grand on autopilot. So flight director, we're going to use heading bug. Exactly straight out. There we go. Flight director heading bug vertical speed about six seven hundred feet per minute. Don't really care. Let's take this off for set of flaps down and let's go. Parking brake, whatever. And let's see if it checks us off in 26 minutes or so. A moment I've been waiting for for over a month or two now. I was going to see my miners haven't gone blank yet, and now it just went blank during takeoff. Good gravy. Drink, you're coming in. And flaps coming in. And autopilot engaged, because why not? Why not engage autopilot right away? Okay, we're going to fly this through until we get to the airport, see if it saves it. I don't want to move my monitor. I'm going to try to stop talking about it, because I think the few of you who have been watching me the whole time are probably sick of me talking about my monitor going blank. Since you can't see go blank anyway. Um, more research required. Alrighty. I am going to leave you with some scenery because I've been talking for three hours. So here's some scenery. <laughs> I better make sure we're not gonna stall out or anything. No, we're good. In fact, I should maybe let us climb a little bit so we don't overspeed on the way up. There we go. Alright. You guys get some scenery guys and gals and I'm going to research my monitor issue and I'll be back a little bit.
how are we doing here? We're not over speeding, we're still climbing. Good, good, good. And we're not going to CN, we're going to and Lai and Lee. CN was there. Okay, good. Yeah, it's a quick little route. Oh, my cat is back. Yep, all right. Let's do a new view for a couple minutes here. Let's do that view. Right, we're picking up viewers like crazy. I'm quiet right now because I'm just taking a break from talking. It's been three hours going over the new stuff in. Oh, sorry, my microphone's peeking. Oh, hey, move my phone. Cat, don't chew my cord. Cat. <laughs> my cat. Um, we went over the game of the year stuff. You watch that if you feel like it. So now we're just testing to see if the bush trips are fixed. If the landing gets checked off in a few minutes here, then the bush trips are good. If not, then they're still broken. And then I have to figure out why my reverse thrust for props stopped working on my yoke. And my monitor was going blank every 5 10 seconds. Now it hasn't gone blank for a while. I don't know what's going on, but I bet if we start doing views, it will. Yep, there we go. <laughs> anyway, that's what's going on. That's why I'm being quiet. So I'm going to um, give everybody a new view. Let's do. Actually, let's see where we are, first of all. Well, we got a ways to go yet. We're not even at Charlie November. And then we have to go beyond that to um, Lima Indigo. Where are we at? We're up at four grand, and then we'll speed up a little bit. All right, cool. Let's uh, look out a window. Let's look out here. Yeah, I'll leave with this view for a minute. Yeah, my monitor is not gone blank. If I don't do anything, if I don't do anything with views, my monitor doesn't go blank. But if I start doing views and moving things around and everything, that's when my monitor goes blank. Hmm. My blank is losing signal. I did find a keyboard shortcut I can try to reload the driver, but I'm not going to do it while I'm streaming and everything. But that's something for me to try. We haven't, yeah, we haven't gone blank in a while now, but if I do, there we went blank. Yeah, so it seems to be when I'm moving things around. I don't know, whatever. Uh, where are we at? We're coming up on Charlie November. We have a ways to go yet. 
sure seems like longer than 26 minutes, but whatever. Let's see. It always takes me longer to do things. See, there's Lima in the go. We're going to keep going this way to get around this terrain. Although, I don't really think... Yeah, I guess we can cut back over a little bit. We're not going to hit that terrain. But yeah, after all, not at this altitude. I have already flown these legs, so if you want to watch details with the nav log and everything, then watch my videos on these. But um, right now, we're just cutting across just to see if the problem is fixed. Oh, I hope it's fixed. I hope it's fixed. Um, coming up on a three-hour stream. Is it really been three hours? It feels like it's been 20 minutes. Jeez. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I've been awake all night anyway, just watching stupid videos on YouTube, so I might as well stream a little bit tonight. Um, hmm, my monitor hasn't been blank in a while. Why is it not going blank? It was going blank like every 10 seconds for two hours, and it hasn't been. But if I set a view like this, it goes blank. <laughs> it's almost like there's hot keys associated with it. You know what I mean? It's almost like there's hot keys making it do that. But you can't see what I'm talking about. Um. Hmm. Anyway, once I'm done streaming, I do my other tests for other things. I'm going to try that shortcut to reload the graphics driver. What was it? Windows Control Shift B. Interesting. Windows Control Shift B. A cool looking city there. Hmm. Very pretty. If we were looking at the nav log, we would see what that is, but since we're not using the nav log. Oh, lost my monitor. I also just realized I'm doing all this in 1080p uploaded. I should go back and see how it looks. I could probably push 1440p. Maybe. Oh. Alright, let's see. Oh, is there yet? Are we there yet? I want to see what happens when we land here. Is it going to save? Those of you joining us, I keep seeing viewers coming and going. Those of you who are joining us, we are doing one more thing for the stream tonight. I hang it up. And we are seeing if the bush trips are actually fixed. So we're going to land at this bush trip leg in Norway, leg two. And see if it works. It used to be that they you could come and go as you pleased throughout the legs and it would save. And then there's a bug introduced in Sim Update 6 where if you started and kept flying all the way through, you'd be fine at each leg. But if you left and started a leg, it wouldn't check you off when you landed. Supposedly now it's fixed, so we did leg one, we left doing leg two. If it saves and checks us off, then it's fixed. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep me a little close to my microphone. He's he's peeking out. And then I'm also going on and on for the past two hours about these monitor problems I'm having, where it goes blank. Every time I do a view set or look around where before, it would happen like once a month, and now it's happening every couple seconds or so. Don't understand. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost there. And we'll land and fix this thing. How are we doing on fuel? 
Oh, hey, okay. is it? Does it not auto switch? Where's my fuel thing? It doesn't auto switch. Let's not turn off by mistake. No, no. Yeah, there we go. Please don't turn the fuel off by mistake. I swore this auto switched. Obviously, it doesn't. Because it's not switching. But now we'll get caught up here. Level out. Hmm, interesting. Okie dokie. What else can we look at here? Why well, I just have some serious deja vu. Uh, let's just play around. Since we can. Since we can. Oh, my monitor. Come on, monitor. Come on, monitor. Alright, I like the wind. Hey, where'd the wind go? <laughs> there we go. I like the wind on three. I like this little thing off over here. Usually, if we were doing the actual bush trip flying, then we'd be using the stopwatch here because it's easier to see. Which we'll do once we do lake three. If lake two will let us go beyond lake two, if it's fixed. But that'll be my video series on that. Um, otherwise, anything else we need to learn about this airplane? It's so simple. Um, yeah. We can do the auxiliary pump on this if you want to. Very Beechcraft. Does this work? Because that'd be awesome if your conditioning works. Nope. And yeah, my monitor stuff is definitely a signal to my monitor because OBS is not going blank. Like the monitor does. What's this uh, panel light? Oh yeah. That's obvious. What else can we screw around with while we're waiting? Here we are. Catching up to Min Lee. Man, is this really only a 26 minute leg? It sure seems longer than that, doesn't it? Jeez. Probably takes me longer to do these flights. That's gorgeous. Let's sit on that for a minute. Okie dokie, we're getting closer. Alright, let's adjust our heading a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. And I don't remember where the airport is from before. I think it's on the coast, yeah. Whew. We're getting there. And my monitor's not gone blank since I stopped talking. Maybe it's because I'm talking it's going blank. I don't know. Let's just look down here.
Alright, thought you could join us. We're about to land. Leg two. On the Norway bus trip to see if the bus trips are fixed. I mean, I assume they are, because they say they are in the notes of the update for Game of the Year, but I'd have to see for myself. In preparation to resume my bus trip series. And we're coming up at the end of the stream once this is over. My voice needs a rest. Then hope I can stream Forza tomorrow, and then my stream week will come to a close very soon, and then I probably won't stream again for another four years. Now <laughs> we're about to come up here. Whoa, terrain turbulence. I think the runway is right there, if I remember right. <sighs> Hopefully this works. Looking good. Oops, I just bumped my trim wheel. Did all the pilots stay on? Yeah, okay, good. Good. Once we cross this train, we'll start coming down. In fact, maybe we can start coming. Ooh, oh, my modern went blank again. Dang it. Come back, please. Thank you. You probably can come down. Let's do. 1900 feet. Very slow descent. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that's definitely the airport right there. Good. Alright, we're about to conclude this test. Because we had to refly this from the beginning, which means that we have to, when we do that other bush trip I started, we have to fly that from the beginning too. Oh boy, that's going to be close far into that other one. Anywho. Almost done. We're just chilling now. Getting quieter and quieter. <laughs> I know people complain about in a li live stream when people don't talk, but um, I gotta rest my voice. We're almost done. You think well, someday I will get that right? Okay. I think before I went from the left, went to the right. I can't remember. Let me just get comfortable in my chair here. Get ready to land this airplane. If I can remember how to land, it's been a while. It's been like half an hour. Cruising right along, coming down, or coming down fast enough. Let's come down even more quickly. Bring my throttles a little bit to an overspeed. Because if you overspeed and stress aircraft, you gotta redo the leg. Or sometimes it lets you start where you crashed, which would be in these hills. And that would not be good. Getting closer. Throttles give us a little bit more time to descend, bringing us back. And our speed will give us. Wait, that's the runway over there. Wait, that's the runway. Oh, that's the runway facing that direction. How come I don't remember this part? Come on, autopilot, turn off. Turn off, please. Thank you. That's the runway there. What? I don't remember that. I thought we had it. Whatever. We did this like before and it didn't count. And I don't remember the memory being this orientation. Hmm. It doesn't matter, but. Whatever. Okay. Let's get comfortable and let's land an airplane. Those of you who are joining us are joining for the most exciting time. <laughs> Usually. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Right? Lima Indigo, Lima Indigo, we're in the right spot. I'm going to turn on my personal volume a little bit. 
There we go. Bring back Florados. Oh my gosh. Even though I changed the fuel thing, only one side is actually doing anything. Alright, we're using the right side now. I better better look better paint this what I'm doing. It was right the whole time, even though it was left before. That's weird. That's a little bug. I'm not gonna worry about putting that ticket in. Oh my watch is blank. I can't see what I'm doing. No, no, it's back. Alright, is that really the runway? Is that a taxiway? That can't be. I thought it went the other direction. Yeah, that's a taxi we were looking at. That's what I thought. I'm like, no, because when we did this before, and I did this before for the video for leg two, I don't remember coming from that angle. I remember coming from the south. Actually, we came from the north, but still doesn't matter. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. There we go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right, here we go. Gear down. And... First set flaps. Don't have peripheral vision, so it's kind of a bummer. And here we go. Second set of flaps. Let's use a lot of throttle so we stop descending until we get the runway in sight here. Come on, where are you? I think we're overshooting it. Nope, undershot. Alrighty, throttle's way back to descend. Attitude level so we can just let her speed drop. Oh, there's three sets of flaps, I can't remember. Okie dokie. Two and two on the Pappy. A little bit of throttle to soften our descent rate, because now we're in one and three. Now we're all red. So throttles, so we stop descending until we get two and two again. Props back a little bit because we're in red there. Speed is a little bit much, so let's nose up to slow down. Throttles back so we descend. There's one and three. And all red again. Ah, my monitor's blank. Can't see. Jeez, now it's back. How annoying. I'm hoping there's reloading drivers or something. We'll be fine. Oh, gosh. I got way off on our speed when we went blank. Ugh, yuck. We went to the left as well. Here we go. Let's regain control. If we lose monitor now, we're screwed. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let ground effects take us. Whoa, where's ground effect? There it is. And soft. There we go. It's saving. Is it going to check us off? Please check us off. Please check us off. Come on. And there. Good. They fixed it. I mean, I'm sure, of course they did because they said they did. I just didn't believe it. <laughs> All right, good. So now we know when we leave, we can come back. To a bush trip and continue. So now I can continue with the normal bush trip and regular video series. I have to redo that other bush trip someday, those couple legs, in order to um, catch back up with that again. Otherwise, let's see here. That's going to be it for the stream. Three hours, 16 minutes. Holy cow. I'm going to mess around with my whatchamacallit um, reversers and everything off camera now and then I'm going to reload some drivers and blah 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 and see if I can get this stupid screen to stop going blank and then I'm going to get to bed very late and then I gotta get up at 6 in the morning bring my kid to school provided he's not sick so there you go thank you so much for joining me so fun um but yeah once this week is over I might not do much more live streaming just because I won't have time but anyway so there we go Thursday of live stream week with the Tall Turtle. Join me maybe tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow night, maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. I don't know. Just look for the alerts, and I'll see you next time.